What's today? What do we have today after worship? A retreat. Are you guys excited? Yeah? Who's excited? We are. We are. So why don't we all get up? Let's greet the person next to us. So let's say, Jesus is our Christ. 
let's let's say one more time you're so precious and one more time that's why we're praising today that's why we're praising today let's say that's to David say that to Kishki Kishki to David <laughs> okay because we're so excited right because we're so happy why don't we all sing uh, ne the next song together I'm rejoicing night and day let's clap and let's open up our mouth okay let's really shout okay
gonna sing the last song together, my Lord God. When we sing this praise, let's really confess our confession that because of God, because of who Jesus is, we're here to worship Him. We have that privilege, we have that right to glorify Him. So let's take this moment to quietly praise with all of our, all of our hearts. Pyramids. Dear Heavenly Father, we give you so much thanks. Thank you so much for bringing your precious remnants here on this Sunday, uh, on this Sunday worship, Lord. 
At this time, Lord, uh, may you truly bless all the remnants here to use just like as, um, as a Caleb, remnant Caleb and remnant um, Joshua, so that um, the rest of the world uh, may, may have unbelief, may say uh, that this cannot be done, but through, through our uh, remnant's heart, through the mouth of our remnants, um, that they truly confess that Jesus is our Christ. Um, because of that, because of this covenant that you have given us, that um, everything is possible through you who gives us the strength, Lord. Uh, this time, Lord, when we praise, when we pray, when we worship, uh, when we listen to the word, and when we do offering, um, have fellowship, and all the uh, steps uh, within our worship, Lord, that you may lead us, uh, that you may fill our hearts with your grace, so that we don't have any unbelief, we don't have any blame, we don't have any complaints, we don't have any uh, the thoughts that Satan gives, but Lord, at this time, that you may fill our hearts, fill our minds, and fill our life uh, with, with the things that you give, uh, so that we may truly um, have and carry out the works, uh, the things that pertaining to the kingdom of God, Lord. Uh, may you truly bless the remnants, Lord, at this time that they maybe stand as, a, as your spiritual summit, um, saving their fields, saving themselves, uh, saving the people around them, um, and have this world evangelization taking place through their lives. So may we truly establish your kingdom. Uh, may we truly establish uh, your partisan, your absolute partisan here at this time of worship, Lord. May you bless uh, Teacher Jen with a double portion of the Holy Spirit uh, so that uh, the message that he uh, relates to the remnants, that it may be only the covenant, uh, only the fact that Jesus uh, is the Christ, the Son of the living God. May you break down all the force of darkness here at this time, Lord. Uh, we, ki we give you all the glory and thanks. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, remnants, uh, let's confess our faith through Apostles' Creed. Everyone, close your eyes. Let's fold our hands, our heads. Confess three, two, one with all of our hearts, okay? All together, three, two, one. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Church has peace and is being built up. Part two, that's absolute plan to save everything. This is what God promised while the Israelites were captives in Babylon. He said, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to make you prosper, not to harm you, but plans to give you hope and a future. You're the future, right? Well, let's haunt God's thinking. Let's call on God, pray, and He will listen. God always answers your prayers. Seek God with all of your heart, whole heart, one heart, whole heart. God will restore everything. That's what he said. Restore covenant, essence. There's fundamental problem, fundamental solution. All right, we know the story of the Garden of Eden with the serpent. Let's look for serpents today at the beach at the Illinois beach. Yeah, let's look for snakes. Oh yeah, in the campfire. Source of problems. The solution, only Christ. Offering of the woman, the ark, blood sacrifice or Passover lamb, Emmanuel, the Christ. Let's restore Lord and Master and who you are. Never forget who you are. No one can serve two masters. Let's seek God with all of our heart. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow has enough worries of itself. But 
It's good to prepare ahead, right? It's like, we have assignments due tomorrow, but we're like, but don't be like, ah, uh, it says don't worry about tomorrow, so I won't do it until tomorrow. <laughs> no, let's not procrastinate. Live it, love it. Jesus Christ as your Lord. Sense of identity. Restore church. Ecclesia, which means to come out. Restore worship. Word, prayer, praise, evangelism, offering, fellowship. Herod's temple was destroyed because it didn't have the three courtyards. Yeah, we have three courtyards. 237, healing summit. House of prayer. Pillar foundation of truth. Let's on to the five absolutes. Perfect timing. Yeah. Can you please recite the five absolutes? Journey. Sovereignty plan. Covenant journey goal. It's okay if he doesn't doesn't remember. Because Tonight, what are we going to do? Retreat. At the retreat? Yeah, you're making your songs. So I'm going to bring all the Chromebooks, and you're making your songs today. Yeah. Everyone's making it. Yeah. Even if you already made one, you're going to make another one. Yeah, you heard me. Yeah, with different people. And then, if you guys finish, and after we present it, then... I don't know if we're going to go outside because it's going to be raining. So inside, maybe we'll do some Kahoot quizzes, Gimkit. Yeah, we'll play a bunch of online games on the projector. Yeah. And then maybe we'll, maybe tomorrow we'll go on a little hike go by the water. Yeah, go to the beach for a little hike or military boot camp. It's like 70 degrees tomorrow. I brought my swimming trunks just in case. We'll see. We're going to play rock, paper, scissors. I'm, whoever loses, I'm going to throw in the water. That should be fun. All right. To save everything. Uh, today's message. The event of the Jordan. We're not talking about Michael Jordan over here, Jordan shoes. We're talking about the Jordan River that was carried out by un remanente, one remnant. You hear that? It's a mouse. The event of the Jordan carried out by un remanente. Did you write this down, son? Let me see. Okay, what about you, son? There you go. Good job. A bad job is sleeping in your chair during Zoom worship. I got evidence. Maybe later. By the way, only one person submitted their song. No one else did. Good job, guys. I'm going to throw you in the water. <laughs> in with the fishes. I hope you all know how to swim. Joshua, chapter 3, 1 through 13. And it's right here. All right, we'll read responsively. I'll go first. Early in the morning, Joshua and all the Israelites set out from Shittim and went to the Jordan, where they camped before crossing over. Giving orders to the people, when you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God and the Levitical priests carrying it, you are to move out from your positions and follow it. Joshua told the people, Consecrate yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things among you. Joshua 
And the Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the eyes of all Israel, so they may know that I am with you as I was with Moses. Joshua said to the Israelites, Come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. Maybe we should have a spelling test tonight. Please spell parasites and gorgoshites. See, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth will go into the Jordan ahead of you. And as soon as the priests who carry the Ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, set foot in the Jordan, its waters flowing downstream will be cut off and stand up in a heap. Question of the week. Am I hashtag 777-333? You're not sure what 777-333 are? Okay, we'll review it. Is everybody here going to church retreat? Yeah. Who's not? Okay, it's okay. All right, seven, 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 three, three, three. First seven is called is the seven partisans, and of the seven partisans, the first one is the triune God. Tri means three, like triangle. <laughs> Father, Son, Spirit. God the Father, he created the heavens and the earth with his word. God the Son, he came to earth and fulfilled it. Yay! And God the Holy Spirit, he's working with us even now. Dang, eighth grader is like daydreaming. Benji, too much thoughts on his mind. What do you think about boxing? Again? <sighs> Looks like he needs to be taught a lesson. <laughs> The throne, the nine blessings of the throne, which we'll go over even more in detail next week. First, three transcendences. The throne's blessing. God's kingdom is your background. You're citizens of heaven. So say to your ginsters on the way to church retreat, and then I get hit by a truck. It could happen. Where am I going to go? Heaven, yay. See you there. Transcendence of time and space. Prayer. Now, Addie's like, no, I don't want Tito just to die. And then Addie could pray. God, send angels while he goes to Illinois Church or Illinois Beach Retreat Hotel. May you send an angel while he drives. And she's not even with me, but God's going to transcend time and space and send an angel to protect me. Well, transcendence of time and space, huh? 227 light. Shine the light of Christ. Right? We're going to Illinois Beach Resort, but what if there's people that need to be saved over there? Yeah. So let's pray for the staff, the hotel person who, who works in the lobby, the, the custodians. Yeah, and maybe the, the cafeteria people. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for other guests at the hotel. Let's pray for the homeless people that we're going to meet at the beach. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Three life movements. God's image. Let's restore God's image, which means we're spirit, right? Spiritual beings. Breath of life. No breath, no life. Do you know why? There's a theory. Like, if you guys are go to like museums and you see like Egyptian statues or Greek statues and you see their noses cut off. Some people say they cut off the nose of the statues because they're dead. Because they believe if you have nose, that means you have breath. But since you're already dead, no nose, no breathing. And then there's another theory saying, oh, there was Christian people who wanted to destroy these idols, so they only chopped off their noses. Huh, lots of interesting theories out there, huh? 
history unprecedented never repeated answers which we'll talk about even more next next week next next week see I have to prepare messages ahead of time or else I can't get work done I think I want to make these well the teacher told me to make all of them okay never mind he said no through his smile. Unprecedented, never repeated answer. Never before, never after. Joshua's like, God, can you stop the earth so the sun and moon can stay still so that we could ambush the five kings? And then the earth, and God's like, okay. The earth stops spinning. Unprecedented, never repeated. What's your UNR? Ah. Every time I write on the prayer journal, because I copy the prayer journal message onto my personal notebook, right? And every time I see unprecedented, never repeated answer, it's too long, so I just put UNR. You guys do that sometimes? Am I the only one in your life, in your field? Three ages. Your past is a platform. Present, your watchtower. Future, your antenna. You know what I'm saying? And there's also specialization, deceptualization, globalization. Same thing. Five authorities. Spiritual power, mental power, physical power, financial power, social power. Keep praying for these five powers whenever you feel weak. Because remnants, we sometimes we feel powerless. You go, you go home, you feel powerless. Mm. At school, you might feel powerless. At church, you feel powerless. So at those times, you have to keep praying. Give me five powers. No matter what anybody else says or thinks, I need five powers. Right? 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 Guy with the green hat. Right? Right, Namon? Yes, thumbs up, thumbs down. You don't know what I'm talking about? Yes, who? Secrets of the universe? God's kingdom transcends the time and space, spatial time. CVDIP. Whenever you see CVDIP, just think uh, Joseph, Moses, Samuel, David, Elisha, Isaiah, Paul, Daniel, three friends, Esther, the stories of the Bible. They had CVDIP all in advance. Three courtyards, 27 Healing Summit. Save the Gentiles. Jewish people, to Jewish people, everybody who is not an Israelite is, are Gentiles. So we're Gentiles. We're Gentiles. Healing, prayer, healing through prayer, right? Pastor Yu, he, he breathes as he prays. <sighs> That's his method. You find your own method. You don't have to copy. You don't have to copy him. Summit, children. What a noble profession to teach children and raise children, train children, whether it be in school or at church or at home, right? Who knows? Maybe we'll have future educators. If you want to be a future educator, there's lots of training and classes you have to take, and I can help you out. And teacher Christina can also help you out. Teacher Tong could help you out. By raising remnants but if you want to do it like if you want to help raise children in the world in public public schools then come to me I can help you out or don't that's one of the instructional methods yeah, there's there's different strategies we're on a journey, right? Our life is a journey. Some non-believers, like, including people who like rock, they, they listen to a song from ACDC called Highway to Hell. I'm on a highway to hell. What the? Their entire life, they're on a highway to hell? I like that song. But I re just replace hell with something else. Highway to heaven. Father, Son, Spirit, trying God. We have to have a mystery of surviving on your own. 
That's why I'm living alone. <laughs> I like it. Survive on your own. Until I feel I'm ready spiritually, then maybe I won't. But right now, I gotta survive on my own, get stronger. Spiritual facts, victory in advance. Foundation, 10 foundation. Christ is the rock. Christ, right? On this rock, I'll build my church. Christ is your foundation. Anybody watch Bob the Builder? Yeah. When Bob the Builder, he's building a, a building, what does he lay first? The foundation, yeah, on the land. What happens at the foundation? What if we go to the church with and we build, we have sandcastle contest? Yeah, which one will fall first? The one with the weak foundation. <laughs> John is probably going to fall first. Five assurances, salvation. You're saved, child of God. Don't you forget it. Answers to prayer. God will answer your prayers. God will guide you. Don't worry about your future. You don't have to go to good school. If you can go to good school, go to good school. If you can't, then go to regular normal school. If you want to save money, go to community college and then transfer. Why judge each other based on what school you go to or how much you make or what profession you have? I respect custodians more than some teachers, right? Because they live such a noble, hardworking life. And it's, it's about who you are, All right? Let's say you want to get a job. You could have all different stuff on your resume, good stuff, all your achievements. But then if you're a, pardon my harsh language, if you're a crappy person, then do you think you're going to get that job? No. It's about who you are, what kind of person you are, right? Assurance of forgiveness, God forgives you. So we just have to repent in our heart. Do you, want, do you have to apologize to other people? You can, but you don't have to. I don't apologize. Unless I feel like I did something really wrong. Victory. Victorious, triumph, without even fighting. You know what real victory is? You don't even have to fight. Nine streams, see the heights, that wits, and everything you do. When you, you older remnants, you're going to study different content areas. Don't get confused by it. If you know the gospel, you could reinterpret that entire content area, and then you'll get A+. plus, Right? Let's say you're learning about psychology, the study of human thought and behavior. If you know gospel and spiritual problems, then can't you get A-plus in that class right away? Because you could understand it's spiritual problem. How about physical problem? Let's say you're studying what? Or different cultures like anthropology. Can't you understand? 327, 5,000, boom, A plus. Have gospel and study is easy. I'm a witness. Aren't you just sick and tired of getting A pluses? I want to do less work so I could get C or B. But I can't, my OCD. I have to be perfect. Is that a spiritual problem? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a good thing. Save those above, below, and besides you. Lifelong answers, church, plat shadow of the throne. Calvary, Christ finished everything. It's done -zo. Mount of Olives, God's kingdom. That's your background. Work of the Holy Spirit. Church at Antioch, save the Gentiles. God will guide you. Don't worry about your future. If it's not God's plan, then God will just turn you back, right, to a different path. People who ride motorcycles, vroom, vroom, they go on long trips, right? 
They don't care what, where you go. They're like, should I take right turn, left turn? Ah, forget it. I just go. And then do you know what they say? Eventually, they'll get back on track. Yeah, turning point. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how long it takes. Eventually, if you're in God's sovereignty and plan, then he'll put you where you're supposed to be. Save Rome. Let's concentrate in the morning. When you wake up tomorrow at the retreat, you can do morning meditation, walk, at the, walk on the beach, make sure you're with an adult or get permission. Go by the water in the morning. When you look far off in the distance, you're going to see somebody standing by the water with like a stick in his hand. It's probably going to be a teacher since they're fishing. <laughs> yeah. If you see me fishing in the water, come say hi. And then run away. And then get away from me because you're going to scare all the fish away. <laughs> you're going to throw a rock. We'll make sure it hits the fish so we could catch it. Throughout the day, concentrate. We have a long day ahead of us. And at night. What are we going to do at night today? Tonight. Oh, we're going to have, we're going to do activities and what else? Eat snacks, late night, late night carbs, late night ramen and s'mores. Oh la la. Uh, and concentrate on God, right? Settings. Through FSS, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, your weekend. Because during the weekday, we're out in the world, saving the world, right? We're not being imprinted by things of the world. We're going out to save the world. Forget what everybody else says. We're, we're missionaries in the world. Do the things of the world. Why? So you could save it. Right, Amuchin? Make sure you come on time. Sit up. Why are you so late? We start at 10.30, young one. I'm going to throw her. Are you going to the church retreat? Okay, I'm going to throw her in the water first. Three answers. You might face problems, but it's actually an answer. You might face conflicts, but it's time for renewal to come here on time. You might feel crisis, but it's actually an opportunity to save. 27. Healing, summit, oh yeah. God will grant you wisdom, heavenly wisdom. Power of the throne, kingdom of God, works of his kingdom. See the future in advance. God will answer your prayers. Let's not get lost in our own thoughts. Let's not daydream like Michael. Let's not be like Benji. Let's not be like Banshigi. I'm just kidding. We're all like this. Do, I, do you feel attacked? Am I attacking you? Well, I'm going to attack you later and throw you in the water. <laughs> Shark attack. Oh, yeah. I'm going to cook that shark. Let's be spiritual summit. Stay in the flow. Stay in the stream of word, prayer, evangelism, of the evangelism missions movement. Stay in the stream. Everyone been listening to your headquarters messages at home? Yes? Who listens to the headquarters messages at home on your own time? What the heck? Well, teachers do, I hope. They better. <laughs> I do. Yeah, that's stay in the stream. All right, so this is just review part. You don't have to write this part unless you want to. Joshua and Caleb, they saw all the miracles in Egypt, right? The Nile River, the plague of frogs, the lice. Watch out for lice tonight in your hotel bed. Bring a spray. Death of livestock, plague of boils, hail. 
feel like there's going to be a hailstorm tonight. Locusts. Ooh la la. Darkness. Death of the firstborn. They saw the splitting of the Red Sea, but the kids did not. The kids born in the wilderness in the 40 years, they didn't get a chance to see the Red Sea splitting. Because they, were, they weren't born yet to see the Red Sea splitting. But Joshua and Caleb did. They even saw the pillar of fire at night and the pillar of cloud during the day to give them shade and cool air. They saw God provide KFC, Kentucky Fried Quail, and manna. They saw God provide water in the wilderness. They saw God's presence on the Mount, Mount Sinai. They saw what happened when the Israelites did idol worship. Bro. They saw their tabernacle. They knew that what, what was the meaning of the tabernacle. Get all that stuff. They knew what was inside of the Ark of the Covenant, which plays an important role in crossing the Jordan River. Basically, God's word. When they followed the Ark of the Covenant, they were following God's word. Okay? Oh, they can't find it today, but that's what it... That's how it was described in the Bible, how it was built. All the tribes faced the tabernacle. They celebrated seven major feasts, three big ones. Passover, which is salvation. Pentecost, work of Holy Spirit. And gathering, background of heaven. Okay, this one we should write. Why did the Israelites cross the Jordan River? Why did the Israelites cross the Jordan? Because when they... When the Israelites escaped from Egypt, the kids who grew up in the, in the wilderness, 40 years after they did that, they never experienced Red Sea. They never saw God's power. So God wanted to demonstrate and show his power one more time through splitting of Jordan because they didn't get a chance to see the splitting of the Red Sea. More than a million people. Remember Pharaoh was so angry, he turned into grumpy monkey. He said, I changed my mind. Let's get him back. So God, he got all the soldiers in Egypt. He, he got all of them. And they chased after them. And the Israelites, following the pillar, they were confronted by the Red Sea. Now the pillar of fire, supposedly it's an angel, went in front of them. And then when the soldiers were coming, it went behind them to block them off and give the grandmas and grandpas a chance to catch up, right? Your little babies. Yeah, look at that. I want to see that. Yeah, marshmallows. And, they, and Moses was at the Red Sea. The Israelites were, were, were panicking. Oh no. We're, we're, we're blocked. The soldiers are coming. What should we do? Complaining. Ah. Mam, 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 Like a bunch of cicadas. We should have just died in Egypt. Just leave us alone. We want to serve the Egyptians. It's better to go back. And Moses said, don't be afraid, stand still, and watch the deliverance of the Lord today. The Egyptians you see today, you'll never see again. And then he got his little stick. Hiya! <laughs> Split in half. Oh la la. Yeah, you probably see like whales swimming inside. It's like a shed aquarium. Oh la la, manta ray. Megalodons. Dinosaurs. Squidward. SpongeBob. Giggity giggity. Patrick. Ooh. Mr. Krabs. What else? Sea creatures. You see a you see a wild Lydia. Uh -huh. 
You see Emma just in the top. Ah. <laughs> Aquaman. Ta-da. Look at that. Wow. They probably made a rainbow because rainbows are formed when there's water molecules in the air and in the sunlight, right? You guys learned that in science? I'm going to throw you in the river, in the lake. All right. And so they cross. All the grandmas and grandpas. Yeah, a million. And then the Egyptian soldiers, they come. Everyone's in the middle of the Red Sea. Oh, no, they're coming. And Moses is like, watch this, guys. Yeah. And the Red Sea closed on them. Man, that stinks for them. Oh, no. Look at all oh, seagull attack. See those seagulls. Peck, peck, peck. Yeah, they, they witnessed this. Bye bye, Pharaoh. Angel ahead and behind. Yeah, well, the, the kids, they never got a chance to experience it. You don't have to write this down. So, this is just a description of what happened in the Jordan River. God's like, I'll be with you just like I was with Moses. You need to go to the land I promised, the land of Canaan, a land flowing with milk and honey. Ooh, strawberry milk. Strawberry milk comes from what? No, it's just coloring and artificial flavoring. Every place you step foot, I'll give to you. Look really, really far. That's all yours, baby. I've given it to you. Everyone will be afraid of you. No one will be, stand, be able to stand up against you. Just like I was with Moses, I'll be with you. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Conquest. You'll conquer. So be strong and courageous. Is, is this God just saying this to Joshua? Or is he also saying this to us? Yeah, be strong and courageous. The law of the Lord, you shall meditate on it. It shall never leave your heart or your mouth. Didn't I command you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. All right, so this is the Jordan River story. God said, choose the priest to carry the Ark of the Covenant because the Ark of the Covenant represents what? God's word. Keep a distance. Consecrate yourselves. Make yourself holy. Don't sin. Or for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. They gathered the priests. They got the Ark of the Covenant. The priests stepped foot into the Jordan River and then the Jordan split. And then the people passed by, and then, and then they left Jordan to catch up, and then the water came back. And all the kids were like, wow! Amazing. Each tribe leader got a stone, and then they built a, a monument, a memorial. They stacked up the stones like Jenga. Look at that, it split. Wow. I want to go surfing there. All right, they got their stones, set up a monument. Right? This is for the, the future generations to see and remember. I'm sure it was way bigger than that. I don't know, field trip to Jordan, field trip to Palestine. No, it's in the Middle East. Why did the Israelites cross the Jordan? So why did they cross the Jordan? Oh, oops, we already went over this. Ah, here it is. For the sake of the posterity, posterity to see it, the kids. Yeah, because the kids never got to experience the Red Sea. And because there were enemy nations around, right? And God did this miracle because rumor spreads. And the rumor of splitting the Red Sea and Jordan, it spread to other nations and they, they were terrified. Rumor spread. They're like, uh-oh, the Israelites are coming. And we're actually gonna go over it more in detail with the story of Jericho next Sunday.
All right, so what was the Jordan splitting centered on? What was it centered on? What was, what was it centered on? Was it centered on Joshua, a leader, a charismatic leader? Nope. Was it centered on the priests? Was it centered on the Ark of the Covenant? Which one, A, B, or C? Joshua? B, priests, or C, Ark of Covenant? Ding, 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 which is God's word. Not this actual thing, not the Ark, but what it represents, God's word. Follow God's word. Do you know why God hid the Ark of the Covenant? We can't, it can't even be found. Archaeologists and historians, they're looking for it, but they can't find it because people are, people are losing hold of the point. It's not that. It's God's word. You see? They carry the Ark of the Covenant following God's word into the Jordan River, and then it's split. They're crossing the Jordan River. Only priests are allowed to touch it. Anybody else who touches it will die during Old Testament times. One time it was, it was about to stumble, and then somebody tried to hold it up, and then he died. What the? Why are you laughing at death? Interesting. Yeah, Ark of the Covenant, God's word. Even when they circled the walls of Jericho, there it is, Ark of the Covenant, God's word. Ooh, look at the trumpeteers. <laughs> Oh, even when it was stolen by the Philistines. Yeah, Dagon, the merman, the mermaid man, he, he got destroyed. He was bound onto Ark of the Covenant, which is God's word. And there it is. Even when the Israelites went out to battle, they brought the Ark of the Covenant. Look at that. Must be car hard to carry. Is, are the priests like carrying it and fighting with one other hand? Get away, get away, get away. God was fighting for them. They even built, Solomon and David built the temple to house the Ark of the Covenant. You see it? Ark, Arca Deli Alianza. Sherabino. Magazine. Those are the angels. Those are cherubs. Cherubs. Or seraphs. Look at that. I think 48 meters. Miles is M I, buddy. Meters is M. Metric units. There it is. And what's inside of the Ark of the Covenant? God's word. Also manna, God's power, I mean God's providence, and then the, uh, Aaron's budded staff, God's power. And then God's word, the commandments. And those ten commandments, those weren't all the commandments they had to keep. There were a lot more. Those are just the main ten. There it is. I don't know if that's the actual writing. This is just a recreation. I see N, J. Oh, I see J, I, N at the top. Jin. N, Jin. Vroom, vroom. Jin. J, I, N. <laughs> God's word. It's talking about God's word. God's power. God's guidance and protection. Follow God's word. Follow the Ark of the Covenant. All right. Next point. The lesson that was left behind by the miracle of the Jordan. There was a lesson that God was trying to teach through this event. Did you guys write this down? Did you write this down? Are you even writing anything down? I know who to bury in the sand. His name is? Nope. Not if I cover your hands. All right, so what's the lesson to be learned? See the future in advance, right? 
God was showing the remnants of posterity, the Israelites, Joshua and Caleb, hey, just like I split Jordan, you're going to go conquer land of Canaan. See the future. Your future is God's with you. God's with even you, Mr. Daydreamer. The dream child. God's with you. Do you guys believe that? Prove it. If I say prove it, how do you know God's with you? What are you going to say? Most of the time people will give you physical evidence, right? Oh, well, uh, one time God gave me money and God provided for me. And uh, uh, God protected me from incidents, from danger. Uh, uh, God, God let me meet somebody. Uh, God did this. God did that. God gave me food, right? We give physical evidence, right? And that is all proof that God's with you. But what if he didn't? Do you still have assurance that God's with you? And does that assurance give you peace? Yeah, no matter what anybody says, God's with you. If you're enjoying that, who cares what anybody else says? Right? Emmanuel, God's with us. God's with us, our church. And oneness, God works together for the good of all. Right? W I O. We O. We O. May we enjoy We O. What's the lesson to be learned? Only. Follow only God's word. Only Christ. Only. Period. That's it. There's no other answer. Come, come to the conclusion. Answer. Only Jesus Christ is the answer to all problems. That's it. Right? Only. Uniqueness. That's kingdom. You're a unique child in God's unique kingdom. Eternal kingdom. Enjoy this uniqueness. Bang the wall if you agree. I'm just kidding. Recreation. You're a new creation in Christ. If you're a child of God, don't you know that the old is gone, the new has come? You're a new creation in Christ. The lesson to be learned, God called you as watchmen. Watchmen. Watchmen on the walls, never silent day or night. Right? Remember your long message? Two, two years ago? Is that two years ago already? Raise a banner for the nations? Oh my goodness. Do you guys still hold on? Remember the year long message from two years ago? Raise a banner for the nations, right? Platform, watchtower, antenna to save myself, church in the field. Hold on to covenant and pray. Experience five time schedules. Pass through the gates. Prepare the way. Build up the highway. Remove the stones of unbelief. Raise a banner for the nations. Watchmen on the walls, never silent, day or night. No rest. Give God no rest. Antenna, you're the holy people, redeemed, sought after, city no longer deserted. Blessing of 24, past, present, future. My 24, church 24, field 24. Raise a banner for the nations. Hold on to the covenant. Isaiah 62. Send as watchman and woman. And send as ambassador of Christ. Oh, yeah. Look at that Memorial Day, homie. We are ambassadors of Christ. We wave the flag of? Red. No, Christ. Doesn't have to be red. We're ambassadors of Christ. Right? This past Monday, it was New Name Day. And we, we pass out name tags, and you could choose any name you want. Some of my students chose Queen Jojo, even though he's a guy. Um, Mr. Lee, they took my name. Another one was like Frankenberger or something. 
What's your name? What's your identity? Look at his chest. Look what it says on Michael's left chest. Make Christ known. Yeah, ambassador of Christ. Look at Namon's. Oh. NASA? Okay. We have ambassador of New York. Cars. 2024 Lakeshore. Adidas. One piece. One piece, two piece, three piece, four piece. Red rides. Los Angeles. We're representatives of, we're ambassadors of Christ. And God was teaching through the Jordan incident, the posterity, the kids, hey, it's important to be spiritual summit first. Follow the word. Spiritual summit first. Spiritual summit first. And this is what's happening still right now. You don't have to write five time schedules. The point here is God still fulfills his word. God still answers your prayers. And God's still doing works of evangelism. Through work of the Holy Spirit. God still works through the Holy Spirit. Today. Just like on the day of Pentecost. God still opens doors to evangelism. Right? No matter how much I think about it, my profession is so amazing door to evangelism. Right? Because I meet kids every single day and their families. Isn't that amazing? And I do sports. I have a new group of kids I could train every single year. Isn't that amazing? So don't, get, don't be mad if I'm so devoted to school and church. I need to, I'm trying to balance, okay? Don't be like, no, teacher, minister, you have to quit your school and come only work for church. No. Because what God sent me there and God sent me here. So I'm balanced. Don't be mad at me, okay? Leaders of our church, don't be mad at me that I'm devoting time at school too. Because <laughs> it's a door of evangelism and God's doing works there too. God fulfills his word, right? 237, 5,000. God sent me there so I could do 237 too, right? God fulfills his word still. You know what the message was when we went to Illinois Beach Resort 2011? Faith, hope, love, power, Holy Spirit, great assurance. God's method. Spiritual facts. Right? And then, like, it's coming up in our prayer journal messages this past week, too. It fulfills this word. What was our word for 2024? God's plan to save everything. You weren't born in 2024? What the? God's going to fulfill that word. Find hidden prepared disciples. Right? Actually, you don't even have to find it. Where the gospel is proclaimed, they'll come. Look, you're here today. Disciples. You're, you're not here because your parents brought you here. God brought you here through your parents. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. I remember when I first came to this church. Third grade. Because we used to go to a church that was like a couple blocks away. KUPC. We were at KUPC. And then I think we went to another church. I remember it being, it had lots of willow trees in a forest. And then during, after class, we would go and hunt for raccoons. That was fun. And then we came here when I was like in third grade. And the first sight I see is, oh, Timothy's mom, she was, she's my bilingual teacher at elementary school. And I see her walking down the stairs. I'm like, what the? Jameson. Yeah, and then I went downstairs, and Teacher James is on the ground crying because he fell off a horse. Your dad, yeah, your dad was crying because he fell off a horse. So that's my first sight at HMPC. 
Yeah, the little plastic horse. <laughs> he fell off. He's he's a year older than me. What else did I see? There was his two brothers, Joe and Johnny. Very inappropriate. They they keep showing us like like naked naked pictures. Yeah. They're not here anymore. What else did I see? Yeah, you weren't even born. She used to, and then she used to teach at a Korean school. We used to pick her up every Saturday. And then teacher Tong comes along out of nowhere. And his older brother, who is an expert beatboxer. You have no idea. Hidden prepared disciples. We've come a long way, huh? What other HMPC memories? When Emma was first born. She kept smiling. Emma. Ever she sees a baby, she kept smiling. She was so cute. Now, still cute. <laughs> and Banchigi, no emotion, baby. No emotions. The only emotion he had was when he, he wanted to touch a flame like on the birthday cake. And he wasn't allowed to touch it, so he starts crying. Wow. He didn't prepare disciples. Change the field. Yeah, change the field. Ron's covenant, Christ. Follow God's word. Follow answers to prayer. Follow the works of salvation. Word, prayer, evangelism. This is why we do prayer journal. Today's word, today's prayer, today's evangelism. Do your prayer journals. Not as a homework assignment. Actually, you should do it as a homework assignment. Because eventually it becomes part of your lifestyle. Do it. Make it a masterpiece. Send it. Organize it. Send it to somebody. I email it to you guys, right? Some people here. Every single day. I send it to you. If I have your email, then I'll send it to you. AAPI month last week. Class of 2024, also last week for some of you. Advantages and material. It's here. Price went up. The, the, the white joyful gift booklet, which I give to like every professor adult, $7. $7. And then the purple joyful letter, the ones you should send out like during Halloween camp, one dollar. Grab, grab it, or get it from Emma's mom. She's the bookstore la lady. Yeah. And then, if you don't have money today, pay next week, eighth graders especially. Or if you're going to transfer. Get it, hand it out to your teachers and your friends who, whom God put in your heart, and see how God works. Okay? Yeah. Eighth graders... Yeah? You sure? No, seriously. This is your last week at school at CLA, right? A second to last. Okay, so you have another week. But yeah, prepare it. Write a note inside. I always, I, got, I get cards from half price books. I write a personal note, put it in, envelope, and then I give it. It's a, it's a precious gift. You're giving gift of the gospel. What? You don't have to tell me if you gave it or not. Let, let God know. Also, cicada copolis, cicada apocalypse. Let's look for blue eyed cicadas. <laughs> Rare. Just like the cicadas are emerging and being annoying, may we do the same thing for the gospel. All right. Where's Johnny? Yeah, Johnny added himself finally. There he is, the guy with the mole right here. Johnny, that literally looks just like you. Good job. And this dot, how'd you, 
Was that even a feature? How'd you do that? Wait. Move your move your hands. He, you don't have a you don't have a birthmark. Oh, does he? No, those are those are that's acne. Well, if you haven't, uh, the code is. Um, I'll send it to you. Or look in two weeks ago video message and you can see the code pop up. Uh, songs were due yesterday. Only one family turned it in. But that family should get a prize. Everybody else, you'll make it tonight. All right, let us pray for nations 81 and 82, Belgium. Known for chocolates? And Belarus. Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Belgium and Belarus, that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise, shine the light of the gospel, and establish your kingdom there. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.